From sunblock to food safety, there's so many summer-related health issues out there and a lot of questions as well. So joining us to answer some of those today is Dr. Richard Besser. He's the author of Tell Me the Truth, Doctor, a favorite here on The Better Show. Welcome back, Doctor. It's great to be here. Your book is fascinating. A question and an answer on every single topic you can think of when it comes to, uh, to health. It must have been a lot of fun slash work putting a book together like that to answer people's questions. It was it was a lot of fun because I mean as I got into it I found that some of the some of what I thought was true was not and and that's what I'm trying to provide with the book you know the opportunity to, to tell you here's what the science says here's where it ends and give people information so they can they can own their health. And everything changes so much it's hard to keep up at times so what we're yeah. going to do is get the latest answers from you on a few different issues when it comes to the sunblock, for example. Yes. What kind of claims can the manufacturers make in terms of the number uh, um, on there? And the higher the number, does it truly mean that it's going to keep you from burning? Well, I mean, there's some good news here. The, the, the FDA is trying to rein in some of the claims that have been on sunblock. For, for so long, the, the labels were incredibly misleading. Um, one, it used to say uh, uh, on there, um, uh, uh, sunblock. You can no longer say sunblock because none of them totally block the sun. Very misleading, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're all sunscreens and it, and varying varying amounts. Mm. What you need to look at on there is you want to look at the number and it should be between 15 and 50. Okay. Anything above 50, you may find a number still that goes up in the 70s. It's really not any better than 50. Okay, and, the and protection really is at its peak at 50. Is pretty much right? at the okay. peak at 50. You want it to say broad spectrum because that means it, it takes care of UVA and UVB. Mm -hmm. A is the one that causes the aging of your, of your skin, and B causes the burn, and they both can cause skin cancer. Okay. But if it doesn't say broad spectrum, you're not getting that full coverage. So you mentioned skin cancer. Now yes. we've heard a lot of things that, that say that the ingredients in the sunscreens can also cause cancer. So is that true? And if so, Well, you know, I, it, it's kind of a developing field. They're looking at this because the, the different companies are trying different things to try and give you the best sunblock, that sunscreen that lasts mm -hmm. the longest. And as they're doing that with new chemicals, they really need to pay attention to say, are they, are they fully safe? One of the things they're looking at is the spray. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a parent, I love the spray, putting yeah, it on too. kids. Well, they're looking now at the safety. Is it okay if you inhale that? Is it okay to use around children? And what they recommend is spray it onto your hand and then and then wipe it on. And then is put it safe, on instead. Yeah, it would not be good if those ingredients cause cancer and you're trying to prevent getting skin cancer exactly. with that sunscreen. Exactly. All right, food safety. These yes. numbers just floored me when I read this. 48 million people get sick when they consume contaminated foods, yeah. and uh, 3,000 people die a year yeah. from foodborne illnesses. So it, what, are, what can we do? Well, you know, as summer comes, it's actually the period of time where foodborne disease mm -hmm. goes up. And the reason is that you're outside and you're grilling. Yeah. And grilling can be, I mean, I love grilled food, but it can be a food safety nightmare. You take the chicken off of your, pill, uh, off of your tray, you put it on the grill, and then you cook it, and hopefully you cook it long enough, and then you put it right back onto that plate. It's just transferring. You, you put it right back into the contaminated plate. So you have to be really careful. When you're going on that picnic, you want to keep your, your hot food hot and your cold food cold. And if it's been out for more than two hours, you want to just throw it away. Oh, that food poisoning and getting sick from that? Not fun. It'll Not ruin at your all. summer. Exactly. Yeah. And your day, too. Well, don't go away because we've got uh, plenty of other questions after the break for Dr. Best. We'll be right back.